Good morning everyone and welcome back to the cottage. Uh, the weather's improved here after about four or five days of heavy rain and fog as you saw in the previous midweek video. Um, what I'm doing today is I've got to uh, catch up with some of the jobs that should have been done during the week. Um, least of all is to have the fruit trees covered with nets although we have uh, wire going up 1800 around the uh, vegetable garden and fruit trees uh, the possum still managed to get over so um, what I need to do is cover those before they start getting in they've already made a presence around the place so I need to get in and cover most of the uh, fruit trees and some of the other tender trees and keep the little fellas out Okay, so I'm heading into the bush now. As you can see, it's flowing fairly well down here at the moment after all the rain. It is uh, dropping though, the levels are dropping. But it's made a bit of a mess around the place. So what I need to do is to go into the bush a bit and grab a few straight timbers uh, so I can use to put around the trees. <laughs> So even our paths have turned into drains here at the moment. There's a lot of water running down here. You can see all the sphagnum moss that grows around here. It's a naturally wet area here. Although we have rhododendrons that are coming up nicely here. They were planted a couple of years ago. There's a larger one over there. And they should be starting to uh, flower in the next few weeks. This is one of our native pepper trees, a very tall one. And we've got about, I suppose, five or six on the property that we know of. I'm sure there's more deep in the bush. And I believe it's the females that set the fruit. Okay, as you can see, I've made a start with the uh, pole cutting. Uh, this will um, allow me to set up a uh, three of them in a TP type structure and then I can attach the net over the top. Here's another area that needs to be netted and new grapevines. They're getting great buds on them now, so it'll only be a matter of days before the leaves start to unfurl. So I need to increase the height of the fence on the perimeter and also I might put some netting over the rows as well, just to make sure. So here are the fruit trees, they're only uh, young. Some of these have only just been planted this season, bare root. So we've got a couple of hazelnuts on the end there. A cherry tree which we transplanted and brought over from Snug, beyond that pile of stakes. And over here we have a small nectarine we brought from Snug as well. They're just raspberries in the barrel. Pomegranate tree which is going fairly well considering it's so cold and the altitude up here. Whether it actually ever has fruit on it, I don't know, but the flowers are beautiful. And we have an apple tree here, which is a gala apple. And that also was planted uh, earlier this year, bare rooted. I really should have uh, pruned back about a third of them, but it's a bit late now. And I'll see how they go. This tree here is a nashi pear tree, kosui, which is a Japanese variety, I believe. I think they all are. And you can see it's getting some nice new growth there now. 
And we have another variety over here, planted in the garden bed. And this one's in 20th century as a variety. Yeah, that one's not quite as advanced. It should be nice and bushy. And so they back onto the native bush here. So this is going to be a food permaculture type food forest here. So we're putting the taller trees to the rear of the, the garden. And uh, eventually we'll have climbers running up them and uh, perennials down lower and any sort of ground covers and vegetables, annuals at the front. And of course the new poly tunnel, unfortunately we didn't get it finished this weekend because of the weather. It needs to be rotary hoed and levelled out and it was just too wet. Um, and we need a nice warm sunny day when we put the plastic over so that it's uh, nice and flexible and then as the weather cools it will tighten up. Uh, that's what happened with the other one. That's the, the first large polytunnel in the distance you can see. We put up a few years ago. And it's going very well apart from one small hole where a stick fell onto it from, uh, from a great height from one of those large gum trees. And I'll put a patch on that. Otherwise it's uh, held up very well, even in the snow. The small polytunnel here that we threw up last year is uh, just a, a small area that we can actually put, grow on our seedlings. Um, or I should say start our seedlings before we grow them on in the soil. And they'll be planted in these beds. Already we've got potatoes coming up from last year, mixed in with a few irises. And over here we've got Anne's garlic which is growing very well. And the goji berry is now put on its leaves. And you'll see in a previous video where I actually erected this uh, trellis to tie it to. And the seedlings that Anne put in one of the new uh, garden beds, raised garden beds is growing well. And the one over here, we put in a lot of logs, the bottom rotting logs using the Hugel culture method, a bit of sandy loam from up the top, very acidic soil though, and we will top up the rest of it with some uh, nice garden mix, a neutral mix, and uh, we'll plant some more seedlings in there. Well, this is the result of not uh, netting our camellias this year. I took the wire off thinking they were going to be tall enough and unfortunately the Bennett Swallaby, a large one that tends to hang around here in the bush, he's decided to make a meal of it and he's decimated it. You can see branches have been broken where he's pulled them down. Um, it'll come back, I'll, I'll give it a good prune, it will come back next year but uh, it was quite a shame because it was getting some nice flower buds forming as well. Good morning everyone. Good morning. Beautiful day. And finally, at long last, <laughs> we have a nice sunny day as you can see. Two the blue sky is out. <laughs> uh, we're just about to head off in the car and trailer to pick up a load of um, compost and uh, vegetable mix soil. And also wire to keep more wallabies out. Yes, yeah, so Yay. we need some wire netting <laughs> uh, to raise the fence. So we will see you back here shortly. Bye. Bye for now. Followed you around the other day while you thought you were alone. But nothing could prepare you for all the days without something real to do and to get through. And all you need is one. Say
Is a lame.